New details tonight on plans to move the remains of Confederate General Nathan Bedford Forrest and his wife from Memphis to Columbia. News 2's Valencia Wicker tells us why this is a move of closure for Forrest's descendants. It was December 20th, 2017. A more than 100 year old statue of General Nathan Bedford Forrest taken down in the dark of the night. It was not only a historic site paying homage to Forrest, but it was also the very place where he and his wife are buried. They weren't prepared for that eventuality at that point in time, right then and there. They were upset when on live TV everything was being taken apart. H. Edward Phillips is a Franklin, Tennessee attorney representing the Forrest descendants, his five great great grandsons. They figured, okay, we, we've got to come up with a plan. We have to deal with this in a practical, logical, and healing way. Together, they decided disinterment was the best route. Soon, the remains of both Forrest and his wife will be moved to Columbia, Tennessee, where the Sons of Confederate Veterans is headquartered. While there is not yet a specific date of transfer, it could happen as early as mid-February or early March, depending on things like weather, safety, and security. Not only do they want healing and closure for the citizens of Memphis, but they want that for themselves. They want this to be the very last time these two human beings, their remains, are moved. They want this to be the last time that the family has to go through this. A final resting place of dignity, yet one that still is respectful of all Tennesseans. In Franklin, Valencia Wicker, News 2. Phillips says there are not yet plans for a public ceremony for the transfer whenever it occurs, but there will be designated witnesses there when the remains are exhumed. Meanwhile, the bust of Nathan Bedford Forrest is at the center of controversy at the state capitol as the battle rages on over relocating it or leaving it where it is. The Tennessee Historical Commission has a hand in the decision in that process. And as Tennessee marks 225 years of statehood this year, see the people, places, and events that have shaped our state. Tennessee 225 is our special section on WKRN.com.